The scenario we've got for today is there's been an offshore spill that's been reported. So it's not your conventional diesel spill down in a port somewhere. So that's the sort of entry point into yourselves. You've been made aware of that. We would also support you with some drift modelling. It's a pragmatic look at what is at risk, what can we do about it, what preemptive stuff can we do, so is that a shoreline cleanup? is it media releases going out, is it pre-mobilisation of equipment, is it warning people off, we're halfway through the week, there could be an incident that's going to take you four or five days for the clean up, so it's getting into that thinking space, and the benefit of all of these is because we're going to produce a plan at the end of it all, and Grand Truth, a particular site, that plan goes into your living oil spill contingency plan, which is a dynamic plan, so it just keeps that plan current. Now, the idea of uh, what Mick said, you know, we look at what the impacts are, we know what the scenario is and the, the potential impact on, on us here, so what we've tried to do with the exercise is sort of narrow it down to our, our little area of responsibility, which is the metal history and the, and the beachfront, and, and for the purpose of the exercise, we looked at uh, for, our, for our physical recce later on, uh, about a K north of the surf club in terms of assessment of what sort of wildlife there might be there and what the impacts are of the... So in reality, the, the whole exercise would be a lot wider than that, but what we want to concentrate to, to, to test what uh, is looking after this particular estuary. Uh, Ramsar designated an estuary of wetland of international importance. So, so really, at the start of the exercise, is just head, up, head upstairs, set, set up the AOC, and there's that initial planning, that initial, OK, this is the scenario, what, what do we need to do, who do we need to talk to, for the, for the day. Just remember we've got a tier 2 plan and today's about sort of not validating that plan but going through it, looking for opportunities for improvement within it. We have had an oil spill on this coast before. So we basically had from the river about here, um, about 14 k's north, we had oil on the beach. Um, and it was fortunate that wildlife wasn't impacted in the Ramsar site. But the scenario that Mick talks about is, is not um, something that we just dreamed up for this exercise. That's a credible scenario that we could get oil from the Taranaki field in particular. Um, so it's good that we're going to actually sort of try and validate our plan a bit. So.